Welcome to my Real Estate Insider, where I provide you with information and answers you need on the Edmonton real estate market. Every month, I'm going to answer these four questions on the Edmonton real estate market using data and a sprinkle of my opinion. These questions are, how fast are homes selling for in Edmonton? How much are homes selling for? Are homes selling for list price? What are the hot neighborhoods in Edmonton? And in this video, I'm answering how much are homes in Edmonton selling for? Let's head over to my website where you're going to find this information that you can reference anytime you need it. Okay, here we are. How much are homes selling for in Edmonton? So as I mentioned before, we start every report with the district map, which splits up the city into quadrants to, so we can look at the data by quadrants and um, by types of homes. So when we look at how much homes are selling for in Edmonton, I am going to be using a median sold price. And this median sold price in this chart is by district. So you can see for um, detached single family homes, the low average median was in central Edmonton at 360,000 and the high median was 562,000 in the Southwest. So you can uh, refer to any part of the city that you're interested in for the median sold price. It'll give you a good idea of what to expect um, for things that people are buying. You can, you can always get something for less, you know, that's maybe needing some work or something that has a lot of updates and upgrades that's gonna be a little bit more. So moving into the detached. So moving into the attached homes, that's half duplexes, row houses, townhouses. Uh, the low median was in the Northeast at 244,000. And the high median was South Central at 510,000. This doesn't really surprise me as there's more infills and half duplexes that cost a little bit more than in the outskirts of the city. And for apartment condos, uh, the low was in the Northeast, median price at 155,000, and the high again in South Central, 257,000. This is closer to the university area. Um, so again, it doesn't surprise me that it's holding its value pretty well with um, Central Edmonton just behind it. So moving into median sold prices monthly, and we're going to look at this, uh, each of these charts separately and then combined. Uh, you can see that we started out really low in January at 421,000 on average across the city. It peaked or it spiked in February, uh, continued to climb March, April, and then in May, we started to see a decline, but it's not too drastic going from 470000 to 456000 The median sold price for attached basically is following the same line, um, but not as steep of an increase and not as steep as a drop. But in January, we started low, we climbed, climbed, climbed. For April being the peak at three twenty four ninety nine dollars and down hundreds of dollars. So not really much of a decline, more flat, if you ask me. Median sold prices for um, apartment condos started again low in January, uh, February, a little bit of a climb, pretty big climb in March, flat again, and then in May, another climb. So basically from January, we're going from one 65 to 185 so that's pretty impressive for condos let's see if we can continue that and when we look at the charts combined it uh, just to see how flat or how steep the curves really are um, really attached homes didn't change too much from 309 to 324 so 15,000 difference and the detached was the biggest increase and condos with a smaller increase. So uh, to take out the seasonal effect of 
pricing. Um, we also look at the yearly numbers. So detached, we saw an increase of 33,000 year over year. Attached, we saw an increase of 25,000 year over year. And apartment condos, we saw a decrease that the condos went down from last May, even though they're up from January. And if you want to just check out the chart data, you can go here and click on each segment and check it out yourself. So does that surprise you how much homes are selling for in Edmonton? I wonder if we're going to see more of a price decrease in the coming months. Uh, stay tuned for the Real Estate Insiders future episodes to find out what unfolds this year. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Thanks for watching. Bye.